Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramayar Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeyer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try. But I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Tomas doesn't seem to be here. Oh well, that's fine. I've been researching the hero's relics a lot since we last spoke to him. I found out something interesting. It's about the connection between crests and the hero's relics. The crest stone of each relic is carved with a specific crest, the one that has the ability to wield it properly. The crests are the keys. You need the right one to safely use a hero's relic. The only thing I can't figure out is, why doesn't the Sword of the Creator have a crest stone bearing a crest? Precisely. At least, that's my current guess. There's more. I believe the crest stones might be the source of the relic's inhuman power. When Miglon transformed into a black beast, he was taken over by something that originated from the crest stone and the crest stone was on his body. It all seems to add up. Now, look at this picture I found in the library. That creature is called the Immaculate One, who was supposedly sent by the goddess to save the followers of Saros. You see the pattern on its brow and the faint circular boundary? Isn't it possible that's a crest stone? If all this is true, then crest stones are what power the ability to assume massive forms like that of the Immaculate One. And maybe the hero's relics can harness that transformative power. Oh, it is you. Have you seen Tomas recently? No such luck. I was hoping to speak with him myself, but he seems to be out on the town. 
I see. Well... Hmm? Where did you find that picture? It was in the library. Why do you ask? Is it something my youthful eyes shouldn't be seeing? No, of course not. However, that is not part of this library's collection. It must belong to Tomas. It would be problematic if it got mixed in with the other books. I will take possession of it for now. Take it away where no one can see it, you mean? What was that? Well, that's what Tomas said. He said records that the monastery doesn't approve of tend to disappear. Tomas said that? Preposterous. I have far too much to accomplish to waste time with this foolishness. He was certainly in a hurry. I wonder if he's off to confront Tomas. Well, he took the picture, so I guess that's that for now. I'll see you later, Teach. So, the church is hiding something after all. Some massive secret about relics and crests. A secret that must have something to do with the professor's true identity. Gotta go, now. The situation in Lemire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. tell who's lost their mind from who's mad with fear. If we don't act quickly, things are just going to keep getting worse. They really don't want to get involved here, but we can't leave these people on their own, right? How about we hit them hard enough to knock them out, but not hard enough to kill them? That's too reckless, but... Uh, I'll admit I can't think of a better option. If some must die, just know it was by the will of the goddess. Stop that, Marianne. We have to save all of them. There's no way this madness is by the will of the goddess. Nobles are responsible for the safety of the commoners. By the honor of House Gloucester, I swear that I will save them all. Claude, there are some strange-looking people here. So you notice, too. Look. There's a suspicious group hiding amongst the villagers. Could they be the culprits? If so... There you have it. Our objective is clear. Take down that suspicious group and rescue the villagers. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there. But our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Ready anytime. Thank you. So nice of you. Let's get to it. Kill! Kill! One giving orders to those weird ruffians. Isn't that Tomas? Tomas, what in the world are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, 
the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick Mock to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. There's a fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. You are not the one I crave. Everything is ready. Still not satisfied. May I help? Pull out all the stops. Stay focused. My pleasure. Do your best to kill me with that blade. We will lend a hand. Now's our chance. Another step forward. My blade craves their flesh. The weak will eventually die. What does he want, anyway? In any case, we need to take care of Solon. <laughs> Thank you. We've rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Solon. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. It's over. All we can do is focus on our next move. I'll have a look around the village. There may still be people who need our help.
Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Claude? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery? I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery, if only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Oh, I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Hey, Teach. That assignment wasn't my favorite, I've got to admit. I suppose pretending to be unaffected doesn't do anyone any good. That was terrible to behold. It's always hard to see innocents die. Hey, all you can do is keep smiling, keep marching. That's part of a leader's job. We can't give in to despair. Not just for me or for you, but for all of us in the Golden Deer House. We have to keep smiling so the others can move forward too. As long as we don't show that we're disheartened, they'll know they can make it too. That's what matters. Yeah, <sighs> Sorry for getting ahead of myself, Teach. That's how I feel, but how you handle it is really up to you. By the way, I hear that guy who calls himself the Flame Emperor showed up in Ramire Village. I couldn't believe it when Hilda told me the news. What could he be after? <laughs> I know I just laughed, but that really isn't funny, Teach. World domination. Hmm. Okay, actually, I wonder. They called this incident an experiment, and they said they got what they came for. That means they might take this success and attempt something even bigger next time. I hate to even consider it, 
But if they can replicate the incident at Ramire Village on an even larger scale, if we're not careful, we'll have a full-scale war on our hands. Then world domination wouldn't be a joke anymore. Flane, your timing is impeccable. Would you care to join us for a while, fair lady? What? Why? Oh my. Damn, she gave us the slip. In any case, I doubt she knows the full story. It seems more like she has something on her mind that she can't divulge. Seems like it would be better to push Sedith for an explanation. Or, best of all, to go above his head and ask Rhea. Now that we know Tomas was an enemy, we can't be sure that exposing the church's secrets would be to our benefit. Where are the answers I seek? Where are they? You did well handling that awful business in Umayyar village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a Dark Mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officer's Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows, their identities a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go!